So we got to ask you one thing just to clear it up. I think it's pronounced BioNTech. One of our producers confirmed. Is that right? Are we pronouncing your company name right? Yeah, you can you can pronounce it. It's BioNTech or BioNTech. Uh, so it is it is it is. We did not dictate how how the company should be uh, pronounced. Gotcha. So we're all right. Okay. 90% efficacy you showed in this phase three trial yesterday with your partner, Pfizer. You are a, a relatively young biotech company founded in 2008. Did you ever think you know, you'd see that level of efficacy? What was that moment like for you and, and the folks at your company? Of course, it's a, it was a wonderful moment because we, we didn't, we didn't expect this high, high efficacy rate scientifically, of course, it is in the range of, of something which could happen. But, uh, but uh, with regard uh, to the aspect that this virus is, is, is unknown and we don't know escape mechanisms, we don't know how hard it, is, it will be to, to, to address that, an efficacy rate of over 90% is incredibly positive and, uh, and, 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 and therefore we, we are absolutely happy with this outcome. Now, vaccine experts have told us they still have a lot of questions about the data. Does it does the vaccine appear to prevent severe disease? Does it work as well in the elderly as it does in younger people? Obviously, the the information available right now is limited. But what can you tell us about those details? So, uh, so it is important. This these questions are indeed important. We need to to collect further data and learn about that. These uh, these are relevant questions. Uh, so this was our first interim analysis. We expect uh, to have a full data set with the uh, with for our primary endpoint analysis, uh, which requires about 164 uh, infection cases in about two weeks, two to three three weeks from now. Yeah? And uh, and uh, once we have this full data set. Uh, we can we can explore the data and and investigate how the case split is, how the protection in the elderly uh, um, uh, population is, how the pro protection in the younger population is, and if we observe observe severe cases in the control group. This information will come come up uh, and mature in the next uh, uh, two to three weeks. Uger, it's Kelly here. Um, if it's BioNTech, why not capitalize the O and the N? <laughs> That's my one question. <laughs> but uh, seriously, congratulations. And, and my real question is, can you explain what you are contributing in this partnership with Pfizer um, and what investors should think about the success here, meaning for, for your future prospects? Yeah, so we are, we are uh, a next generation immunotherapy company. The, uh, the technology behind this vaccine, the messenger RNA technology, and the vaccine candidates have been have been uh, developed in in Germany. So we started this project in in January uh, 2020. Uh, uh, identified the more than or started with more than 20 ca candidates, and we are uh, we provided uh, the the vaccine candidates. We um, and, uh, took care of the manufacturing of the clinical batch, batches for the clinical trial. And we are also experts in T-cell immunity, in immunology. So we investigated the T-cell immune responses uh, for these vaccines. Pfizer executed the clinical trials in the United States. We executed clinical trials uh, here in Germany. And of course, Pfizer was responsible for execution of the of the worldwide um, uh, phase three trial, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, which uh, um, which provided now this endpoint analysis, Doctor uh, endpoint analysis. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.